Coyotes will consume almost anything. And they also hunt and will prey mostly on rabbits, rodents, fish, frogs, and most notably deer. Coyotes have keen vision and a strong sense of smell in the wild. And if you want to see these canines in action, keep watching because we're getting started. Oh my God. Oh my God. Number 15, Coyote Attacks. Here's a video of a man shot from about 600 yards away showing a threesome of coyotes preying on some goats in a big pasture by a river house. One of the coyotes lopes straight up to the goat herd and takes a youngster. The big alpha male and the lead coyote stay with the kill and the smaller female takes off, chasing the herd further. Watch the herding action of the goats, compressing and circling, and then a lone nanny and a young goat make a stand at one point and the chasing coyote retires to the original kill. This video proves that coyotes don't just eat carrion like so many experts on YouTube try to say. They do in fact hunt livestock and other animals, kill and eat them, and to top it all off, this was taken during the day, not at night. It looks like this coyote wandered off into a residential neighborhood and it paid off, except what on earth are so many peacocks doing walking around this neighborhood? Maybe it's the new neighborhood watch team, except after this, there is now one less member. Coyotes appear to have an open menu. This coyote discovers a dead fish that will suffice for his dinner, so he picks it up and walks away pleased with his find. Number 14, Coyotes Hunting Cat. This night cam provides footage of two coyotes mangling a cat right at the doorsteps of a house. The cat tries to defend itself against one of the coyotes, but you can see the coyote dragging the cat out from the property and onto the sidewalk. It looks like the cat has been killed by the coyote. In the middle of the night, a coyote attacks a cat, who fearlessly fights it off at first before the coyote overpowers and captures the feline. It is unknown if the cat was a stray cat or belonged to the residence where the altercation occurred. This coyote hunts and chokes a black cat. The cat struggles and tries to free itself, but the coyote is too big and strong in comparison. The coyote carries the cat where it can eat it in peace. The cat in this video does an excellent job of defending itself against a ferocious coyote, but when the cat is out of ideas, he climbs up a beam to safety so he isn't killed by the nasty predator. Number 13, Coyote Hunting Squirrel. After searching for a small squirrel, a coyote snatches a little rodent and holds it in its mouth until it decides to go for a stroll in the forest with the dead squirrel so it could eat it away from onlookers. Carter, the famous UBC coyote who has his own Facebook page, is caught on video hunting and eating a squirrel. Unfortunately, this male coyote has mange, a skin disease caused by mites, which is visible on his tail and the sides of his legs. Please do not feed this coyote because he is an excellent hunter. He has an excellent natural food source at his disposal. Please keep wild animals at a safe distance and scare any coyotes away if they get too close. Although coyotes will occasionally prey on free roaming cats and small dogs, the myth of coyotes or foxes eating pets is greatly exaggerated. As a result, they prefer small mammals such as rabbits, mice, rats, and squirrels, as well as human-produced foods such as garbage and cat or dog food. This coyote attacks a black squirrel and kills it easily as he runs across a university campus with prey in his mouth. I guess it was quite the spectacle for bored students on their break in between classes. Number 12, Coyote Attacks Raccoon. In the middle of the night, these coyotes encircle a raccoon. The raccoon tries to position himself so he has no enemies behind him before confronting the coyotes, which do nothing. The raccoon was prepared for the worst, and the coyotes ignored him and simply left. Sometimes, when you expect the worst, it never comes, which is a good thing, especially for this raccoon, or he could have easily ended up six feet under. When a raccoon climbs a fence to get away from a hungry and aggressive coyote, you could see the coyote jump up to try to grab the raccoon. The coyote almost succeeds, but the raccoon fights back until the coyote makes one final attempt and manages to grab the raccoon by the neck. That was quite an acrobatic display of skills and force by the coyote. When a coyote attempts to snare a young raccoon, the raccoon's mother does not hesitate to pursue and repel the coyote. She saves a little guy from the coyote because it appears to have escaped. Raccoons, especially young ones, 
are prey for coyotes. However, an adult raccoon, which can weigh up to 27 pounds, nearly as much as a coyote because most coyotes weigh 20 to 40 pounds, occasionally up to 55 pounds. Adult raccoons fight hard, so most coyotes would not risk chasing down an adult raccoon. Number 11. Coyote Attacks Goose During a night ambush, a coyote can be seen chasing and killing a pet goose. Following the incident, the goose's owner asked people on the internet if they could tell him how to keep coyotes out of his yard. Coyotes generally avoid humans even when their home range includes a significant amount of urban or suburban habitat. The presence of a free buffet in the form of pet food or garbage, on the other hand, can entice coyotes into suburban yards and give the impression that backyards are abundant feeding areas, which is the case here. Coyotes dislike loud noises and bright lights. Installing motion-censored lights or establishing a nightclub in your yard will deter coyotes from prowling there. The motion sensor lights will be preferred by your neighbors over the raging base and colored strobes. The incident depicted in this video occurred in a car dealership parking lot in Columbus, Ohio, more than a half mile from the wooded area where the coyote most likely came from. It's incredible how far the predator went in search of food. When a coyote spots a goose in a parking lot, just when you think he's not going to attack, he returns and guns for the bird, grabbing it and dragging it back home with force. A coyote can be seen eating his meal in peace after catching and killing a goose. But wait, the goose isn't even dead and it tries to flee despite missing a portion of its body. The coyote grabs the bird and holds it there for good, preventing it from fleeing. Number 10. Coyote Attacks Dog Dogs, depending on what breed, can challenge a coyote in a fight and our thumbnail proves it. Even though the coyote in this video is small, in the face of a big dog, a coyote can save its life by fleeing, and it is much faster than a Rottweiler, for instance. But if the coyote stays, it'll die. Coyotes typically avoid large dogs for good reason. They understand that they are no match for these larger, powerful canines. In this video, an innocent dog tries to get a drink of water when a coyote sneaks up behind him and bullies him. The dog is young and isn't sure what to do, but his instincts tell him to stay away from the coyote. Smart dog. The man filming this video encountered this coyote sunning in a field at a public park in Dallas. There were many dog walkers in the area, with many dogs unleashed. The coyote showed his self-confidence when an unleashed dog moved in on his space. It turned out that the coyote had an injured front paw. The dog was not aggressive and seemed interested in playing with the coyote. Number 9. Coyote Attacks Bison While in Yellowstone National Park, wildlife enthusiasts stumbled upon a remarkable scene. A coyote had just killed a bison calf. The herd kept chasing off the coyote, and this game of cat and mouse lasted for over six hours. This video is a compilation of what went down in those six hours. This coyote is trying to get this calf's attention, and when the calf gets up, the coyote chases him, but he is far from threatening. It's a rather small coyote, so even a calf for him would not be easy to take down. The calf even takes the time to kick the coyote in the head. It's not much of a kick, and it's quite funny, but when the calf returns to mom, the coyote knows he better behave or it could get ugly. This coyote stays clear of the adult bisons in this video but has a good time with the calf. Is the coyote trying to isolate the calf or does he just want to play with them? I say this because we see the calf chasing the coyote at one point instead of the other way around. Perhaps the calf is having a little fun and doesn't feel threatened because the herd is nearby. Number 8. Coyote Hunting Deer this coyote has caught a deer in the snow and appears to have things under control, but it doesn't. The deer is quite large and it manages to get up after some struggling and even confronts the coyote, but the coyote eventually takes down its prey. It's the first time I have seen a coyote eating a deer alive. This coyote is tearing through this deer while it's still alive. The deer remains stoic as if it's enjoying the scenery while the coyote is ripping through its body. The coyote shoves its head into the deer's open wound and digs for whatever it can find. What is rarely shown is how coyotes and wolves consume their prey while still alive. Unlike cats, they do not attack large prey in the neck, but rather bite the hamstring, paralyzing the animal. Once disabled, the pack surrounds the animal and begins ripping at its underside until it falls. When a man opened his blinds on an early morning, he saw this carnage in progress, a coyote killing and eating a fawn. The killing had just occurred, and all the doe could do was watch. 
The doe tried to bluff her way in, but the coyote wasn't buying it. When the coyote started taking off with various portions of the fawn, the doe chased and harassed it as seen at the very end when they ran through the surveillance camera. The doe never seemed to understand that the fawn was already dead. After it was all over, she came back and stood over the kill site for quite a while before finally heading for the hills. I guess this was the animal's way of mourning. In this video, a coyote can be seen chasing a white-tailed fawn as both animals rush through the frame of the trail cam. One minute later, by the sounds of it, the coyote ambushed the fawn and killed it. Number 7. Coyote Attacks Chicken A coyote enters a yard and chases some of the chickens around, obviously to try and grab a quick lunch, but the chickens manage to escape and besides losing a few feathers, none are killed. When the dogs come into the picture looking for the coyote, the culprit is long gone. Had the dogs managed to grab the coyote, it would have ended quickly for the intruder. A coyote killed six chickens in less than 10 minutes in this video, and the only ones that survived ran for cover in the back. A coyote was caught on camera only once, and the residents hadn't seen one in years. People should be aware of the risks associated with free-ranging their chickens, according to these owners. If they decide to, they must be prepared for a loss of a significant number of their flock. A brazen coyote trespassed into the yard of the people filming, walked on their porch, and ate the neighbor's chicken. What was the neighbor's chicken doing on their porch? They tried to save it, but the chicken was afraid to go into their house when they called it. Three coyotes attacked the chickens living at this farm. The gate camera caught one on video as it tried to snatch one of the chickens. The animals can be seen running through the frame. It must have been terrifying for the chickens, but you can't blame the hungry coyote for trying to eat. Number 6. Coyote Attacks Rat This Buena Vista coyote is named Carl and he just caught a rat. He brings the rat to the lower area of the lawn to toy with it, even though the rat is not interested in being mangled. He loses the rat several times but finds it again and the playing continues for a while. The coyote is an excellent rodent killing animal. In this video, you'll see the coyote hunting for mice and rats in tall grass using a specific hunting technique, and it works like a charm. A coyote always has a diverse menu to eat from, and on this day, the lucky winner is a mouse. Mice are just one of many, many critters coyotes will seek in the oak woodlands of the southern Sierra Nevada mountains. How the coyote jumps on a rat in this video is reminiscent of the red fox, even though the red fox jumps much higher and dives head first into the snow to catch prey. When attempting to catch these small animals, coyotes use a technique known as mousing. Mousing occurs when a coyote listens for small rodents traveling underground, locates them, and pounces on them the way you just saw in this video. Number 5. Coyote Attacks Snake This coyote is trying to figure out a way to neutralize and kill a rattlesnake. We can't see the rattlesnake because of the tall grass, so it looks more like the coyote is performing a bad version of some unknown Polish dance, but he's hunting a rattlesnake because you could see him snatch the snake momentarily before letting go of it again. The coyote must be careful because the rattlesnake is venomous. There is no real resolution at the end of the video. Coyotes thrive even in deserts teeming with rattlesnakes. They do so to feed themselves and to protect their young. Even though coyotes are said to kill venomous snakes on a regular basis, the latter is considered one of the more unusual prey of a coyote. Another coyote finds a snake in the grass and tries to find a way to kill it. This one looks like an easy one when the coyote grabs the snake and begins to walk away with it until the snake wriggles out of the coyote's mouth for some reason. The coyote once again searches for the snake but seems to have lost it. After Coyote spots a dead snake and after getting a taste of the dead reptile, the coyote looks around and walks away. Apparently, four nights later, a raccoon smelled the remnants of the snake and you could see the raccoon slowly approaching what's left of the dead snake to feed on it. Number 4. Coyote Attacks Opossum The opossum appeared to be in trouble at times, but after about 40 minutes of playing dead, it stood up and walked away. When threatened, opossums do not actually play dead. They become unconscious and go into a catatonic state. Although many people think it's an admirable act, possums are in tonic immobility, or thanatosis, and their bodies enter a catatonic state in response to fear, according to science. Opossums have no control over when they play dead or for how long they do it. The comatose-like state is an involuntary reaction triggered by stress, and in this case, it works 
because a coyote, after trying to fiddle with the dead-looking opossum, eventually abandoned it, which gave the opossum the opportunity to walk away unscathed. After grabbing an opossum and dropping him on the ground, after the opossum goes into a catatonic state, the coyote decides to pee next to the opossum and walk away. A few more coyotes hang around but don't pay attention to the opossum. Number 3. Coyote Attacks Buck It's a fight for survival and a sad yet sobering sight as this injured buck is relentlessly pursued by two coyotes across the South Dakota landscape. We don't see if the animal is killed because the video ends, but based on the footage, it could have gone either way. During their hunting trip to Ohio, hunters shot a dandy 10-pointer. One of the hunters shot him from about 200 yards, and less than five minutes after it was shot, he saw the buck being chased by coyotes into the creek next to him. From there, it got crazy as the animals engaged in a scuffle. Another buck is surrounded by a couple of coyotes and tries to fend it off, but the clip is cut short, so the outcome is unknown, even though the buck crumbles to the ground at the end of the video. The preferred prey of coyotes decreases as their population grows. During the heyday of the fur trade, the southeast had no coyote packs and a high deer density. Because of stock predation, the U.S. government is forced to kill over 90,000 coyotes each year. Coyotes have been shown in studies to have a negative impact on white-tailed deer populations. Coyote eradication has even doubled the survival rate of fawns in some cases. Number 2. Coyote Attacks Duck I have seen many predators looking for food on golf courses including eagles, lynxes, bobcats, and even alligators, but it's the first time I have seen a coyote and the yote has found himself a tasty duck. A coyote with a duck for dinner saunters off through the alfalfa field while other birds watch and mourn their friend. A duck that was minding its business while laying her eggs was attacked and killed by a hungry coyote. I guess there are safer ways to lay eggs. After stalking an unsuspecting duck for a few minutes, a coyote attacks and snatches the duck, making it part of its balanced early morning breakfast. Number 1. Coyote Attacks Rabbit it's as if the coyote in this video is giving the rabbit a chance to escape, but the second the rabbit decides to run, the coyote chases the fluffy bunny and kills it. The coyote gave me the impression that he was daring the rabbit to run, so he could show the fluffy bunny just how fast he was, and he did exactly that. A Portland couple spotted two coyotes on a leisurely drive. One of the coyotes stood guard while the other was enjoying the meal. As soon as the car approached, the coyote took the rabbit in his mouth and moved further along. Meanwhile, the other coyote marked the territory. The coyote in this video has caught a small and defenseless rabbit and to say that it's chewing the living daylights out of the bunny would be an understatement. On this night camera, a coyote demonstrates how to catch a rabbit. He sniffs, stops, looks around, and repeats until he finds the fluffy bunny. Once he does, it's time for dinner. The coyote looks like a smaller version of the wolf, but it mostly hunts alone except for the occasional hunt when a few coyotes work together. Which one was your favorite? Why don't you let us know in the comments below? And well, that's it for now. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and let us know in the comments what you think. Check out our other videos and subscribe to be a part of the fun. Click on the notification icon so you can see our new videos as soon as they're uploaded. Thanks for watching and see you next time.